Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, when was the last time you brushed your teeth? For me, it was uh, well, a couple of hours ago. I actually like brushing my teeth, and I'm using a new toothbrush. It's a very geeky toothbrush, but it tells me where I need to go in my mouth. So I'll hear it make a different tone when it's time to go to a different quadrant in my mouth. Oh, see, did you hear it? It went, it went, and I go right here. This is not a normal toothbrush. Um, this is an Ultrao, and uh, this toothbrush was uh, sent to me courtesy of this little guy, oh, wait, I'm sorry, this little guy over here, Greg Birch. Um, oh, now uh, I either need to rinse and spit, or I need to swallow. Um, don't use your, if there's toothpaste, 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 don't swallow. It's tooth gel. You're probably fine. All right, um, Greg, um, Mr. Dr. Guy, Bur uh, Dr. Birch, I can call you doctor, right? Yes, I am not an, Dr. Birch. I am not an anti-dentite, um, but for years, I've been using the Philips Sonicare, and I've really, it, it, it's a really, oh, you got the Philips too? There we go. Um, but anyway, um, this is technology, and I stick it in my mouth every day, and I was hoping you could tell us a little bit about these types of toothbrushes and if they're really good yes I was um, in dental school when uh, Dr. David Engel and a bioengineer used my class to be guinea pigs for the Sonicare um, they, the engineers actually spent a long time getting the bristles at just the right length to oscillate to create a sonic wave. Um, and they did it by making a few innovations. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little choppy. I'm getting a little feedback. Sorry. Yeah, we're kind of hacking this right. together here. We'll work, we'll work through it. So the cool thing about the sonic here when it started was it was all solid state no moving parts so if you pull the head off and you turn it on you can hear it just a little bit but you don't feel anything move so it's totally self-contained all solid state and it uses the inductive charging so there's no metal contacts which is really cool uh, the other different thing about the Sonicare was the uh, neodymium magnets when you pull the brush head off yeah you can stick it to your Mac uh, <laughs> I learned never to stick magnets near anything okay um, <laughs> the, 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 the good and bad thing about being solid state is that when those magnets break off yeah the brush is worthless oh that, that sonic action is gone. Hmm. So, even though um, it, it was a fantastic brush, the, the best out there at the time in 94, um, Dr. Engel et al., the, the guys that, that started building it, um, were never really satisfied because the, uh, the, the bristles would also fatigue. Yes. And you didn't get a consistent sonic action for two minutes. Yes. So, they decided to make this one. The one with the RSS icon. Yeah, that was you, Chris. Uh, that's really cool. I, I hadn't noticed that until you pointed that out. You can syndicate your mouth. <laughs> exactly. It is, it is Sonic 2.0. Um... What they did, instead of letting the, the bristles fatigue, is they made that little orange nubbin. Yeah. And it uses a piezoelectric generator in the back. Yeah. To generate the sonic wave. Huh. So it doesn't fatigue over two minutes. Interesting. 
Well, I can tell you, you know, when I went from, you know, quote unquote regular toothbrush, which I mean most of us were using anyway, um, to the Sonicare, it was an immediate difference in not just speed at which I'm brushing my teeth, but also knowing that I'm getting comprehensive brushing every time I go to brush. My teeth were smoother, uh, my tartar buildup wasn't as much, um, and then going between the Sonicare and the Ultreo, um, it, the Ultreo does seem to be doing a better job. Just, I mean, ever so slightly, but it does seem to do a better job uh, with the, giving that, um, ap like, the, you know when you get your teeth polished at the dentist? Well, of course, you know, that's what you do for a living. Um, but, like, that feeling, it's, that's what both, well, the Sonicare and the Ultreo have, have given me, I mean, certainly, I mean, this is like, this is the, as about as geeky as you can get with uh, a toothbrush, at least that I know of. Yeah, I agree. I think it, um, the, the the difference between going from a manual brush to a Sonicare and going from Sonicare to Ultrio isn't as great. But the Ultrio is definitely better. It's also solid state. It's also, it has inductive charging. You know, the, the Dr. Engel and the, those Sonicare guys are, are certainly in the Ultrio. And it's made in Redmond. Really? It's made in Redmond? Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. It's it's manufactured right in in Redmond. That's great. Yeah, the uh, uh, it, it it takes some getting used to because unlike a, a regular toothbrush where you kind of go in there, you you turn it on and then you just jet, kind of gently like move the bristles along your teeth. You don't you know push it like a, a regular old toothbrush. Yeah, exactly. It takes the old, the old trio. The old trio with the nub in, if you hit, if it hits your teeth, if you probably noticed, it'll really whack them. Yeah. So, I tell my patients in, with any Sonic brush, the Sonicare, the old trio, oh, the Braun, Sensonic, they all have to be used with water. Yep. Lots of water. The Sonic action doesn't work in air. That's a uh, so. that's one thing. The uh, you know trying to use as much water as I can. Um, it usually works better, I think, with a paste than a gel. Yeah. And I think they even recommend that. Um, but you know, if you're going to brush your teeth, and you should, and of course I know you you have to say that. That's what you you know your whole dentist thing. Um, that's it. <laughs> the but you know it's it's something that I kind of made fun of. Uh, people when they were using these things, and then I started using it, and I was like, wow, this is awesome. And of course it was, well, I didn't start with the, the El Trio, I mean, you know, this one, the one that you'd sent along uh, to review, and then, uh, but I'd been using the Sonicare uh, for quite a few years, and honestly, I've tried other electric toothbrushes, some brands that you named, and they really are second fiddle to the Sonicare, and in many ways the Sonicare is second fiddle to the El Trio, so... I mean, that's that's my opinion yeah. as someone who brushes his teeth, not as a toothbrush expert. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't I don't make a living off of you know selling toothbrushes necessarily. Yeah, well, neither do I actually. I just I treat patients. <laughs> like I said, I'm not affiliated with Ultrio or Sonicare in any way. But you're a geek at heart. Yes, very much so. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, the bristles. Yes. Um, I, I mentioned that the oscillating bristle length. Actually, I totally lost my train of thought. I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh, I think you may have really covered it. Sorry, I just, I'm half clean right now, so I it have It's interesting. We, we got to watch you shave, and now we get to watch you brush your teeth. Well, hey, it's good hygiene. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It's good, it's good hygiene. I gotta teach these people how to do this stuff. Okay. Uh, but thank you, Greg, Dr. Birch. Ooh, I gotta go to a different quadrant. Hang on. Oh, Excellent, Chris. And thank you. Am I doing good? Appreciate the time to talk about oral health and geeks and your geekulence. I just got toothpaste all over my MacBook. I, they look toothpaste proof. I hope um, they are. I haven't installed Leopard yet, but 
maybe it's got some cool features I can use in my office. Yeah. Okay, so thank you again, Dr. Brooks, and everybody else out there, I dare you to find a geekier toothbrush that your dentist approves of. Now, Greg's not my dentist, he's just a friend, but I just wanted to say, I love my Australia, and I also love my childcare. RSS feed, that's cool. That's what I'm saying, boys. Okay, so if you have any other geeky health tips, geeky health tips to pass along, you can email them to me, chris at Um, Hopefully I'll have time in between brushings to read my email. I am not going to swallow this, though I spit out the first time I'm going to spit this or not, too. Um, but you're also welcome to swing by our chat room anytime, day or night, um, whether or not you have brushed your teeth. Um, we're open 24 hours a day, and I'm hoping that if you do come by a chat room in the morning, you at least brush your teeth because morning chat breath is nasty. Um, I think that's it. Uh, we're live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.